It may be desirable in the design process to put each individual plan sheet in its own DGN file versus putting all of them into one file. In the last video, we took a look at creating plan sheets, but we put all of the plan sheets in a file called plansheets.dgn. We're going to take a little bit separate approach here. In our back to our design file, we're going to make a new file, and this time we're going to call the file name boundaries. And just as is previous, we want to go ahead and reference in everything that we want to include in our design. So I'm going to grab my terrain, my corridor, and my geometry. You may have survey, right away, etc. So we'll put all those in, we'll do a fit view, and again, we'll make our active surface. And all we're going to put in this file is the name boundaries. So if we go back to our name boundary manager, and we're going to do plan sheets. And this time, we're going to do just 100 scale. So if I just repick it, it'll automatically default to the 100 scale. I do not want to create my drawing. And we're going to accept where we want to place our first name boundary. So we're going to start at 118 plus 00. You can put in your name here at this point if you want to change that. And we're going to use a one inch is 100 sheet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of sheets for demonstration, even though my design doesn't currently go that far. So we will accept to uh, place those name boundaries. And so the first part of this is exactly the same. We'll go to our name boundary manager. We'll expand down. We want to go ahead and show the create drawing dialog and also to annotate the plan drawing model, just like before. So what's different? Well. When we go to our create plan drawing, what's different is this toggle uh, cre creates a separate DGN for each sheet. And so you will be given uh, the path here and then you can control uh, the name. And so I'm just going to uh, purposely change these uh, to something new. So let's say, for example, uh, for the file, uh, we're just gonna put uh, plan sheet or we'll just put plan. And then for our drawing model, um, we'll say Route 67 drawing. And then for the sheets, I just want you to see the difference here. We'll just say Route 67. And you'll see how each of these then gets labeled. So we have some different settings here just to see how that all works. Again, you can place these in the sheet index if you would like. I'm going to turn that off for now. And we got our scales set, our proper annotation, which is the, always the same plan annotation for plan sheets. But the big change here is what we're going to call each of these and also what folder we'll put them in. So we're going to select OK to this. And again, it'll go through and do our annotation, and it will create our drawings. But this time, they're going to be in separate DGN files. So it takes us always to our last sheet that we selected, our name boundary. And so if we come back into our drawing model, then you will see that that is there in this particular file. Now notice that it took Route 67 and it renamed it to Route 68. It's going to take the number that you put in and increment it as the uh, ending suffix. And so that was a point to make here. You want to be careful how you rename these, and it may take a little practice to see what you can and can't do. Um, if I would have put, for example, in my sheet name, Route 67 space sheet, then it would have been you know, labeled as such. And so now I'm going to jump back to uh, the other file just to show you in my folder structure that it did create both of those. So here's the, uh, the other file that it created. And notice the same thing on the naming. What If you put a number in the end, it's going to increment that number. So, you know, for example, if you had Route 67 as your file name, it's going to become Route 68. So you don't want to do that. So we're going to go and open up our first plan sheet. And so you'll see our first plan sheet, and it also has uh, the drawing model in here. So if you want to create individual files, you can certainly do that. Uh, just it's a different step in that create drawing dialog uh, where you where you have that ability to toggle on that uh, that different option for putting each in its own file. And so it's important to understand that you have that capability as well. Uh, you just want to do a little practice with your naming of your files uh, to get those as you want them.